but I wanted to be a doctor when I was, uh, you know, going into college and my, my like major a doctor, doctor, like a surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I, because you know I, that's really hard. Yeah. To do. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I was going to go to Stanford cause they had a good medical school and, uh, ended up choosing Penn state, but I'm like, I mean, Penn state, they have obviously, you know, one of the best programs too. I mean, they have in Hershey and everything there's, uh, but I mean, just having like the Penn state alum connection too. Uh, you can do what you want when you go to Penn state. I mean, whatever you want to be, you can be. And, uh, you know, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I was a kinesiology major and, uh, always got like a 3.75 GPA cumulative over my five years. So I was always a good student, but in 2016, I saw Frank Molinero make the Olympic team. And that really inspired me to, to, to want to wrestle after college. And I saw David Taylor was starting to make, uh, you know, a living out of wrestling. And, you know, I saw some different people were, uh, you know, financially well, uh, well off for, uh, you know, being able to compete. And I'm like, man, I would just rather compete and, you know, maybe coach one day. And, you know, it seems like there's a little bit more money in wrestling than when I was growing up. And, uh, it's like, I would just rather do that and not have to go to school for another six years. Yeah. Um, that was like probably the biggest thing. And then obviously if you're a doctor, you, you gotta spend time away from your family and everything. And I'm a, I'm a big family guy. So, uh, so I ended up deciding to, to keep wrestling. So yeah. awesome. And then over COVID there was, uh, you know, not a lot of training going on for youth wrestlers, high school wrestlers. I'm like, what can we do to, to help that? Cause we didn't know how long it was going to last. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even with, uh, even with COVID, I think it's over. Is it over? I, I don't, so. I don't know, <laughs> but, but I think it's over. But even with that, I mean, it's still, you know, everybody's on their phone now. So they're watching TikTok. They're on Instagram scrolling. Why not download an app that, you know, is going to help you get better wrestling. Spend your time, you know, watching wrestling technique and, uh, you know, and connecting with your favorite athletes. If you're going to be addicted to your phone, at least have it make you getting better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't stop wasting your time on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say I don't watch TikTok, and it, <laughs> but you shouldn't watch TikTok. <laughs> but I nah. can watch TikTok. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, you said you, uh, you were going to go to Stanford. How close were you to going to Stanford? Oh, I was really close. I, I, I wanted to go there, and we took an unofficial visit out there. I love Coach Borelli. He was the coach there whenever I was getting recruited, and um, I loved it. And, uh, you know, I went out there, and I, I still liked it, but, you know, I felt like, you know, they hadn't had their new wrestling facility, so I f thought it was a little, like, outdated. And, um, you know, they, they talked – I mean, they didn't have as much success in wrestling at the time, and, you know, and they weren't on the Big Ten. And, you know, there were, there were, there were a lot of reasons, but – um, you know, I ended up deciding to go to Penn State. It was close to home, and my dad, my parents could watch all the matches on the Big Ten Network, and um, you know, we could wrestle in front of a sold-out crowd. And uh, you know, they're the reigning four-time national champions. And you know, I'd train with David Taylor and Ed Ruth, and you know, I just thought that was the best place for me to reach my potential. 